I think Baggage uh, versus Forgotten Rod, and that's like a classic warehouse matchup. There's history there. We want to win. Floorball's like European. It's, there's no contact, it's open spacing. I can't believe we, we turned this place into that. Will someone beat the Worm Burners? It's just always tough when elimination games happen. It gets turned up to 11. It's pretty intense. They're making all these calls against it. And uh, someone's gonna have their heart broken. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and roast these fuckers. We'll see if they have enough in the tank. I heard, I heard Jimmy's running on fumes. You gotta win game one to get to game two. There's no tomorrow, right? Like, that's it. That's all. We are super excited as we have our first playoff matchup between We Got Ice and Forgotten Rot. Forgotten Rot was exactly how I thought they'd be. Just very athletic, but not really, like, <laughs> hockey-minded. They gotta be able to score. A great game today. Kind of maybe an upset with Rotten eliminating Ice, but it's cool to see them play because they get better every period, every game. Today it is the Broad Street Bullies taking on John Boy Media Office. What are you doing? I think Sam has a field hockey crush on Jules. She was just like in awe. So the first time she spun to the toe and then shot in the middle of the toe drag, that was wild. That was like, fuck. Let's remember, the winner of this game then moves on to the semifinals to face the Warm Burners. Now it's Bowens. Oh, the wraparound, did he get in? Is he in? Oh, they're gonna have to look at this. Bullies get their first win of the tournament, knocking out John Boy Media Office. It was incredible. It was smooth. Everybody that came and played was into it. So every game, people wanted to win, but also wanted to have fun too. Tech Dan had some surprises ready for us. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and roast these fuckers. My biggest issue is I bought a camera system from an untested camera manufacturer. It's been the most difficult camera system to set up in my entire career. And like there were some nights I was like almost like pulling my hair out even though I'm bald. But like there wasn't a lot of stress like on the field during the days of the shoot. First of two semi-final matchups that will bring you here. We've got Team Baggage taking on Forgotten Rotten. A lot of personality and a lot of history between these two. Sure I think Baggage uh, versus Forgotten Rotten, that's like a classic warehouse matchup. I mean, that's been through some, there's history there. Here we go. The O2. We want to win. People might laugh and be like, can't believe they're taking this that seriously, but that, I think that's the beauty of it. There are thousands of people watching. Uh, you want to win when you're out there. The plan was, uh, Krause and I stay back, don't let them outrun us and, and get it to Sam and, and she'll close it off. I think we might be able to get away with Sam not playing too much defense, because they don't have an offense. But I think we can kind of, Sam, I think you can kind of linger here. And then Krause, if we get it, throw it back. Nice save by Story Alley, who gets it ahead of Tansky. Behind the net now. Wrap around Tasky no! Is no. that a goal? There's controversy. That is indeed a goal. It is what? a hat trick for Tasky. Our team was great. I mean, I came up with game plans and we executed them. Sam, she got the hat trick, the game winner, the Sam chant. Yeah. Give me chills a little bit. That's cool. I know we're going to win these games. Like, there isn't a bone in my body that doesn't think we're going to win, even when we're down, even when it's like a few seconds left and we need a goal or whatever. The second of two semifinals. Today, it is the Warm Burners taking on the Broad Street Bullies. I wouldn't say Burners are a lock, 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 but obviously the heavy favorite. We're focused on unquestionably the most talented team here, the Worm Burners. They have scored 15 goals in their two wins. They received a bye here to the semifinals. And Joe's. At times, it looks like they're toying with the other teams out there. The way they play, 
but they're spread out, they pass, so they're not doing wind sprints to the corner like some of the other teams because that's not how they have to play. Ole beats the goalie for his sixth tally. That guy, Ole, he was a sniper. The goals that were happening in that game, like literally went into the net by like that much. I know. Oh, knocked into the board. Oh no, Shay. They left. My shoulder's broken in 18 places. My meniscus is snapped. I'm done. I'm done, I think. They're making all these calls against us. Jealous. They lay on They're the ground. They're out for us. I, I touch the ball. Call. He's mm -hmm. jealous. That will do it. Congratulations to the Worm Burners as they advance to the championship game where they will face Team Baggage. I think there was a lot of getting better. All the teams that advanced got better and skill-wise and, and strategy. We had some cancellations, we had some flight scares, and everything went pretty well. Championship game, two captains again, or solo interviews? And you guys for Anthony. Can do you, you want to do it together? Can you hum? Oh, I, will, I don't know the Canadian. All right, so put celebration. We do have, we have, we have pop, confetti. We have confetti. Welcome to a packed house in beautiful Jersey City, New Jersey, as we wrap up the inaugural John Boy Media Floorball Tournament. It is the battle for $10,000. You wish we were out there, but you know, life ain't fair sometimes. Let's see if they have enough in the tank. I heard, I heard Jimmy's running on fumes. Just throw up in the mouth. Just want to give him a game. He's just back. Just want to scare him. We would be the favorites in the game, yeah. He's not playing. The captain of the Worm Burner oh. is not going to be playing, not going to be playing. in this final. And that's gonna do 